Hello, this is Michael Carnes at Exponential Audio. This video is the first in a series that explains modulation in Excalibur. Modulation is really the heart of this plugin, and you'll need to understand it if you'd like to program or modify your own presets. Many parameters in Excalibur can be modulated. You'll see this little modulation button under those parameters. For example, output level, filter frequency, and several parameters in the voice effects, such as pitch. Clicking the modulation button brings up the modulator window. This has four main sections, modulation type, modulation amount, smoothing, and a real-time display that shows the modulator in action. Let's do some modulation on the output level of this voice. We'll use drums as an audio source. When we click on the modulator type button, we see a very large list of potential modulators. We'll break those down in a later video, but for now, let's choose the soft knob. This is the big knob on the front panel. I'll move the knob up and down so that you can see it's shown in the real-time display. Now we'll determine how much difference the knob makes. I'll bring the modulation amount up to 30 dB. This means that when the soft knob is at its maximum value, then the gain is increased by 30 dB. If the soft knob is at the halfway point, then the gain is boosted by 15 dB. Now here's where I have to bring up an important point about modulation. Modulation is additive. The modulation boost is added to the base value of the parameter. This means that I have to leave room for it. So let's take a look where the gain parameter is set. It's at 0 dB, full level. This is the maximum value, so the modulator won't have any effect at all. Let's make some room. I'll bring the gain down to minus 30 dB. This means that when the soft knob is all the way down, the gain will be minus 30. As I bring the knob up, gain will increase, all the way up to 0 dB. So keep in mind that the maximum possible value of the parameter will equal the sum of the parameter value and the modulation amount. Let's listen for a few seconds and you'll hear the modulation effect of the knob. There are many times that you'd like the parameter to move in the opposite direction of the modulator. For example, you might wish the output level to go down when you turn the modulator up. That's what the modulator invert button is for. When this button is latched, then the minimum modulator value causes the maximum modulator amount. Let's listen to our audio material again. This time you'll hear level go down as the knob goes up. Now let's talk about modulator smoothing. You'll see that I'm now modulating the frequency of the output filter. The layout of this modulation window is a little more complex because it also shows filter choices. But you'll see that the same basic modulation details are shown. Modulator type, modulator amount, smoothing, and the real-time display. I've chosen the modulator type of input combined. This is the mono input level into the plugin. I've also changed to an electric piano track. The basic frequency of the filter is 140 Hz, and the modulator adds up to 1150 Hz to that value. Since the input level is the modulator type, higher input levels increase the amount of modulation and push the filter frequency upwards.
This is where smoothing comes in. If I bring up smoothing, you'll see the modulator graph gets less jagged and you'll hear the filter react more smoothly. And while we're at it, let's see how the modulator invert feature works here. You may have noticed that there is a new knob that appeared in the modulation window. We're not going to talk about that in this video, other than to mention that it's context specific. There are several additional parameters that appear or disappear depending on the modulator type. Those will be explained in additional videos on modulation. That's the end of this introductory video. There's much more to learn, but you already know enough to begin experimenting. Take a look at some of your favorite presets and you'll begin to get a sense of how they really work. Until next time, thanks for watching.